Hi, Mr. Unkert here, and in today's video, I'm going to look at an example from Solve Sinus Sinusoidal Equations Basic. And in this first problem, we have to select one or more expressions that together represent all solutions to the equation. Our answer should be in gradients. So we have to start off with that the sine of x equals negative 0.25. So what I'm going to do is take the inverse sine of negative 0 0.25, okay, and so let's do that. Now we can bring this back up. So we're going to do inverse sine. We're in radians already of negative 0.25. Hit enter. Uh, we get negative 0.25, uh, 2, or, and they're rounding these to 100. So it's uh, equal to, in radians, negative 0 0.25. Now, if we think of this in terms of our quadrants, all right, so we have zero here, we have pi over two here, we have pi here, here we have th three, have pi or three pi halves. Now we're back up to two pi back here. Okay, so every full revolution all the way around is two pi. Um, our angle, negative uh, 0.25. Um, well, if you think of 0.25, you think about pi over two. Well, let's figure out what that is. Let's do this. So pi over two is 3.14 divided by two, so that's roughly 1.57. And if we go the negative direction, this is roughly equal to, if we're talking negative angles, negative 1.57. So our negative 0.25 is, you know, some angle like that. Um, that might not be exact, but you get the point. Okay. Okay. So every time we go around another 2 pi, we get to the same angle. So we are going to pick the negative 0.25 plus some integer n times 2 pi. That's going to be one of our solutions. But we're choosing all the answers that apply. Now, if you think of the unit circle, sine is associated, well, sine is equal to the y value of the point on the unit circle. So if we drew, let's pretend that we're drawing a circle, unit circle here, <laughs> that's a really bad circle. But this, the y coordinates of, we have x, y, the y coordinate is equal to the sine of the angle. So if this angle in here, if we call it theta, uh, y is equal to the sine of theta. Well, here's the thing. When we go negative 0.25 over here, we're going to get the same y value, right? It's the same amount below the x-axis. So we're going to get the same y value. So we're going to have to take um, basically this one, uh, no, actually basically pi, and then add the 0.25, all right? So we're going to do 3.14 plus 0.25. We're talking in terms of positive angles because we're, we're going the pi and then we're adding it. So we get 3.39, which is not one of the ones, but let's take a look at, uh, see if we have a negative angle to represent it. So just remember that 3.39, so let's do 6.28, that's 2 pi. 
minus 3.39 is 2.89, okay? So we basically, what they're saying, and that's a negative angle because we're going 2.89 radians this way to get to the angle. And we're going to do that plus 2 pi because every time you go around, it's another 2 pi. So we're also going to do this negative angle, okay? Uh, let's check our work, okay? Um, I know this may have been a little complicated. If you want to watch the video again, uh, go back, pause it, go back, watch the video, see what I'm doing. If you have questions, leave questions in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.